Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Good? Yes, perfect. That's very good. <laughs> How's your, where is your QD file? How's my what? Where is your QD file? My what? QPs. But, but, but where's my QT? I don't understand what you mean. Oh, oh the kitten. Oh, oh, the kitten. Oh, yeah, they're, they're eating. They're eating. Yeah, they're, okay. I've locked them out. Yeah. Okay. That's very good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's why I said beauty, not kitchen. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So today we will work on the eye chakra. Very important. And today you will start a body lesson. It's beyond the physical dimension journey because the eye chakra and crown chakra, based on you know the, the beyond the materialistic world. Means today you are not body, you are part of the divine light. There is no physical appearance today because we are focusing on the light. On the third, on the intuition, on the power, on the connection with this universal light. So today we will go with that intention. And with when I activate you, so you can see future easily and clear without any doubt in your dreams, or it will increase your intuition powers. And you will yeah. feel fearless, powerful. Because uh -huh. when you understand, you want to say something? No, you, you carry on, I'll, I'll ask in a minute. Okay, so when you reach your life, means when you reach your reality, who you are, that everything is over. Means pain, fear, shame, shy, every negative thought that related to with our thoughts and body is over. It is bliss, happiness exists. When we reach to our light, means when I is attacking it. Then there is no fear. Your life is become fearless. No fear about your materialistic things because that is temporary in your life. Now you are beyond that and you realize in you, not knowing you. When you realize that, everything is over. That is the part of the Yeah. Yeah. And you want to ask me something? Yeah, I, I was gonna say. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm psychic anyway, and I give psychic readings anyway. So I feel like um, it's quite open. I'm a little bit worried about open. Okay, can you open it too much? Because I don't want to. I, you know what I mean. Like I, I used to get lots and lots of visions when I was younger, when I was a young child, <clears throat> and they used to really scare me. Um, and there's an element of me that doesn't really want to like see too much, you know, um, because of what I'm scared of what I'm going to see. But more, more recently I have been doing, I've been, I've been tuning into my psychic powers a lot more, my psychic abilities and giving readings and things like that. And I'm, you know, very accurate with what I give. Um, yeah. I'm just a bit like worried about, see, you know, seeing things I don't want to see or, or you know, and I'm getting information that I shouldn't really know, you know. So that, that there is that element of concern there for me. Okay. So you know, there is a difference between psychic energy and the uh, yeah. activation. There is a major difference. In okay. Psychic power come in people because I know a lot of people, my lots of friends who have that psychic power, you know, the intuition comes in their deep, they see future, and mostly they see, you know, the damages, the negative effects yeah. of the psychic energy, or almost. Yeah. So, when psychic energy activated, because of your last birth, these, you have done something in your last birth, because of that, you have that power. But the third time, it's related to your spiritual power. There's a more, there's a very big difference between psychic energies and spiritual activation of the third eye. When we activate okay. the third eye through the spiritual method, through the spiritual practice, then only you can channel it. 
then you can decide what you see because you're working on spiritual power, right? so the random okay. things coming in your mind. Okay. You're working on particular things, you know, with the mantra, with meditation, you know, see one particular things. That is different. So the psychic powers and the third activation of the Buddha, which you have, they are both different. So you don't need to worry about you will see something else. If you will see, you will see only beautiful things. If you channelize, I will teach you that method how to channelize the third activation to see only beautiful things in our life. I see a lot of things I want it. But I think my thing, I don't need to so I can see, you know, about what's going on in the future, there's a damage and the Things related to the nature force in our life and in the universe. But you can channel this. There is no problem. Okay? Yeah. So, in this, we do some exercises. Uh, uh, today, I can reveal much my content. Let's make video on it. The Shambhavi Mudra. The most important mudra for para activation and some breath exercises. Uh, we will try to be able to do that for this advancement of so, uh, the breathing of prana activation. So we will do and then we will do only meditation. We will work on the steel star and form this final the universe, the universal star and the light star that is Gaya Sri Mantra. Om Bhur Vashpa Tattavitur Varheja Bhardo Deva Nehmani Diyo Yona Prachodaya the mantra of universal light, the Almighty, and we will activate with that mantra. We chant for you. Those two mantras, one and three, one zero eight five four, the O and the Gaya. Okay. Okay, and you will enjoy more. Today, you just need to go with that intention. Your body is made with the light, white and golden light, a mixture of yeah. white. There is no physical appearance right now. You have to go with that intention that you will just flow with your heart. You have to feel you made with light. Everything is light inside. Okay? Okay. So we will do the uh, start of the practice exercise is fast. The motion exercise is called that I teach you in the first regard. In this, the motion is far and pressure should be here when you inhale. To hit it here and exhale it. Yeah. To inhale it powerfully and exhale it with the force. But you need to use this portion. Activate times. That's fine. Okay. That was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. Now take a deep breath and relax yourself. The knowledge today you have to focus on your eye chakra between your eyebrows. Only there, just focus like witness. You are the light. Only keep repeat, I am light inside your mind. Just I am light. I am light. I am light. Stop a patient for the eye chakra. Give birth to your mind, feed your mind with this information. I am light. I am light. Good. Now we do the second round 
this vastrika and we will do fast deployment to blow our pie chart and mind. Are you feeling good when you're doing this? Yeah. Okay. So last time, simply now you will do fast. Fast. And focus in time. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, Tell something goes in. Yes, yes. Yes. Felt that since I've been doing these, these breathing exercises, like I can breathe a lot more through my nose. Before I was doing it mainly just through my my, my mouth because I, I, I felt like I could, get, I could get more air in. But yeah, I can certainly get a lot more oxygen, in, and it's actually quite a lot more pleasurable as well. That, like just finding like 
little subtle pleasures and breathing just through my nose. It's um, and then feeling it on the exhale as well. It's really nice. It's like really made me more aware of myself, my body, my breathing patterns. Just yeah, everything. It's really really lovely. Yes. Yeah. So I will teach you another variation of it. You need to do that Vishnu Mudra. Uh, that's the, the one with the bat. Um, that that's one, yeah, this one, yeah. Two finger down, two finger up. Yes. I can't keep that one straight. I've got like yeah, oh, yeah, little and index. Back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little and index, you know, like yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have to close your left nostril and do the kapalbhati in there and exhale to your right. Okay. Two fifty. Three. And focus on exhaling when you squeeze. Yeah, I've just got to get some tissue. I've just got to get some tissue. Yes, you need that. Sorry about that, I had a bit of an escape snot come up my nose. <laughs> That's why we call cleansing the Kriya. Yeah. We purify clean our nostril and the wind part. So when we do doing meditation, so we can absorb and inhale deeply because of that. That's why we do before cleansing our nostril. That's why we will increase the respiratory system will improve and immune power will improve in this sense. So now you have to do another side. Fifty. You drop your left down to you drop your right, and then do fifty from your left. Yes. Good. Be straight, just fine. And do fifty. Squeeze your stomach and exhale with the fourth. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
or cycle so you don't need to count the thing you just inhale and then you can inhale deep and then block hold hold your breath inside for second exhale from the other side that inhale from the same part that hold that exhale means alternate breath in with the retention with the pump up okay in this okay. group deep okay so Okay, so it's, it's an inhale through through the uh, to the right nostril. Yes. Um, hold for four, like block like this. Yes. Yes. And then, and then exhale through the left. Yes. And then, and then, and then, and then do I and then do I inhale from the left block? Yes. From the right. Yes. 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 It's, 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 it's you need to breathe again. Hold it. Okay. But remember, yeah. inhale deep, give more oxygen to your mind because you need more oxygen. So increase the diaphragm, increase the diaphragm of your lungs, and then hold, and then exhale. You will feel so much power in your mind. You will do 10 yeah. times, then you will increase. Okay, let's start. I will chant one sound for you during this period. You have to count yourself 10 times.
Cleared, cleared stuff out here as well, just a lot clearer. That is good. And this time, first time I teach you about the pump up, it's, it's a very powerful and dangerous exercise. So, only I recommend to people do under the supervision when you're doing pump up, when you're doing retention, holding your breath, because the breath is your life. When it's stuck somewhere, people can die. So sometimes it's tough. So this is very powerful and dangerous. So we have to do smoothly, lightly, easily. So we don't need to force ourselves to hold the ball. So lots of people try to hold the ball and they stuck somewhere. So the pranic energy is stuck and people will die. Most of the time. So now we will do the second exercise in this and we will do another one. Then we will start the meditation. So in this we will do the 10 times the same manner we follow, but we follow from the walk also you have to inhale, then hold, then say. In this, if you are able to follow the ratio is 4, 7, 8, means 4 inhalation, 7 retention, 8 exhalation. So the ratio is more important because without the ratio people Take deep inhalation and long inhalation. They just inhale and exhale methods. So with the ratio, they are able to long exhale and hold and inhale deep. So you have to count your step. Four second inhalation, then seven second hold. If you are not able to hold seven second, so you can hold six, you can hold five. Or you have to exhale eight. If you are not able to eight, do seven, do six, and do five minutes. Okay, but don't hold you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And focus only on your eyes. Have you checked into this long sound? Feel the vibrations in that.
a difference what it was been that and doing among the mudras oh yeah definitely yeah yeah, yeah this was a lot easier it's a lot 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 lot, lot more natural yeah 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 they can use their mouth but they need to make this food Check and inhale again. Hold. Try this three times. You will feel more relaxed. Automatically, your stomach will go in with the exhalation. So this exercise is very, very, very important. Himalayan yogis, they only do practice of this pura greater puma, inhalation, exhalation, and retention, and with loss of variation and ratios, they go to attain the higher stages, to attain the, you know, the powers of their chakras, to stimulate. And it gives more oxygen to your body and it will detox yourself for the long exhalation because you exhalation twice, you inhale more and you exhale eight. It means you exhale more, you exhale in more complex You're feeling yourself more relaxed. So you will feel more resistant. As much as you exhale much, your body will cure back. You will feel better. And if you practice this exercise only for three months, you will feel your skin is like fat. Is soft like that natural because you healing yourself with your powers with natural with the matter in the part in the garden in the beautiful atmosphere when we inhale so fresh air comes inside us and when we exhale out so we will be pure connected with this universe with, with mother country and that's why they do in the demands fresh oxygen there is no pollution. When they inhale, they feel powerful. It's calm, connected, peace, bliss. This is the important of this exercise. Now we will do the last exercise in this. These are advanced version of all the exercises. So I will just try to do once. I never share, I share once this method on my video. I made this video for grenade activation. Means card activation. In this, what we do, the, we do the, you know, the Vishnu Buddha, the same thing happens like Nakashoda, alternative. Like, inhale from the left, hold, but you need to inhale here, intentionally. When you inhale it, you have to feel in your, between your eyes. Inhale from the left, hold. Then again, inhale from the right, hold. Then again, inhale from the first nostril, hold. Now, same with your no so it's very difficult and advanced practice. Yeah. So Can you give me a demonstration, practice. please? Yeah, I, I understand, but I'd like to see you do it. Yeah. So I'm not making a visual video, otherwise, you cannot see my face at home. So I'm just so doing like this so you can understand better how I'm doing. Okay? Cool. Yeah. So I'm just blocking my right nostril. 
and go back and from the left. I thought. Now I inhale again. I hold. Now I inhale again. Okay. And how how okay? How long should an inhale be? Like three seconds or something? Yeah, three seconds. Two seconds is enough in the beginning because you are beginner like this. So you can do two second inhale, hold for two yeah. seconds. Then inhale okay. again for two seconds, then again hold for two seconds. Then inhale okay. for both nostrils two seconds, then again hold for two seconds. Then exhale completely out. No, you can use your mouth to, but when it in the you know the holy text is nostril, but in the beginners, so we use our mouth. Okay, so slow it tell. Slow, slow, slow and long. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, okay, okay, don't, don't, don't do that mudra in the beginning. So you just use like this your board, and in the beginning it will be easier for you. So okay, so so blo so blocking off right nostril. Yes, first eye. Okay. Inhale to your eyes. Okay. Times, yeah, yes, more than. Okay, done. So I give you the basic ratio. We follow ratio from the start to three, then six, then nine. So for the you know, fact, six months, then you can reach nine. Because in nine, six, not 54. 54 seconds you are holding your breath. But you will be here. Yeah. Down. Yes. Then you can exhale. You can have And you will feel so powerful with your eyes. So this is the last. It's called multiple breaths with the journey. 
okay. In this, we exhale two times, three times, ten times. It depends. So, in the beginning, we will do three times. How we do the multiple breath and exhale in one breath. In this breath, with the one nostril, with the jump. Two times you jump, and third time you keep in there. Getting jump, one, two, and deep inhale, third time, and then sail. You can use your nose and you can use your mouth. You can use both. So so you're, you're jerking twice because I can only see you jerk. I can only see it once. No, no, I'm jerking twice fast. That's okay. I'm going to okay. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So you yeah. Time time you need to go deeper and then exhale. And you do ten times. This this is called multiple breath. Okay, so so it's jer jerking jerking two times. Yes. I, am, I, am I holding or, or exhaling? Sorry, straight you away. Don't, you don't need to hold. Just two times jerk and third time you need to inhale deep and then exhale. Okay. Okay. Do that two times. So, these are exercises we we'll do for only eyes. A main effect on the eye effect is this transformation. So, now we will do the main part of that is Shambhavi Mudra. So, it's a mysterious mudra. And lots of serious people, mudra. <laughs> very mysterious, very mysterious. Lots of people, you will find lots of videos on YouTube, lots of videos on it. You know. Yogi group is a different method. Because they never live with the yogis in the Himalayas. They just read the books. So that's why they cannot teach how yogis do. So who live with the yogis only they can teach you how yogi do that. That's why we use the word Himalayan yogi techniques, not Himalayan techniques of breath. I'm not lucky through the books. I live my life with those people and they teach you practically and scientifically in fact. When you do something right, you get instant effect in your life. They cannot do that. When you're doing scientific, not friction based things. So, so, I need to come closer for you, but otherwise, you, know, you cannot do I, I need to come closer, just wait. In this mudra, this is called third eye activation. We do meditation on this. So, what we do, In this, we sit straight and the eye goes up here to watching the middle eye go like this. With the stillness, you will feel pressure, you will feel a little bit pain. If you feel pain, so relax, take three deep breath, then start up. If you feel again, then relax. That started because in the beginning everybody feels because we are focusing, giving pressure here with our eyes, the stillness, and breath should be normal. Inhalation, exhalation, like yogic breathing, no gap, no pause, continuous. And you have to focus in the beginning, you can focus on your no step first in the beginning, like this. Stillness. And just normal breath. 
and slowly slowly through your nose reach to your middle of the eye both sides But don't force your eyes much because you are beginner, you are doing the first time. So don't force, go up to you know, see yourself. Just naturally, as much as you can go, easily just go like this. So like okay. this. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, I can so and, and initially you were focused on your on your nose, so you were like this. Yes. Yeah. Audio. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then and then you went up like that. Yeah. On your you see yourself from the side here, like that. Yeah. Did you go? Did you go a bit cross-eyed? No. Don't go cross-eyed. Yeah. No. Cross cross-eyes. You will. You do go cross-eyed, so yeah. Yes. Yeah. Both. No. Both will be here. Both. Just watch. Even you cannot able to see my because I practice, so I can go deeper inside. So you will see only white area of my eyes. But because yeah. I practice every day like this. I do meditation on this uh, with the own sound I do. But uh, you are a beginner, so you will distract your mind. So we will not do own sound in the beginning. We just focus on this. The name of this mudra is Shambhavi Mudra. Very, very powerful. So just do it. I will watch from here how you do it. First, you have to focus on your nostril and slowly, slowly lift yourself up as much as you can easily and hold yourself and practice. Do meditation for two minutes here on this. With this, you will feel pressure in, in, in your eyes and, and the third eye point, middle of your eye level. Try to come closer. Slowly, slowly try to move your eyes to between your eyebrows. Yeah, now it's so close. Very good. Slowly, slowly try to lift up. It's an incredible exercise in Florida. It is sham of the movement. With this, you will feel so much powers, spiritual powers. And if you are able to imagine, just imagine in the middle eye, middle eye, the eye cross home, the golden O. Imagine and visualize golden O. You will feel, you will feel. Relax yourself. Yes, relax yourself. Now we will start from here. Now watch your sides down, then slowly, slowly lift up here, and then up. And you have to visualize when you go up, oh, the golden home in the middle line. Yeah, as much as you can go up, try to go up. Close your eyes in the center line of your home. This is perfect. You're doing perfect. This one is good. In the center line of your body, Sushumna. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's very intense. Oh. 
Yeah, it's very, very intense. intense. Yeah. Very intense. Oh. But because you've done right post at this time, that's why you feel that it's because your eyes are the center line for that watch. That's why I said it's you will perfect. That's why you feel intense vibrations. Yeah, try again. Yes, you have to. Very good. In the center line of the body. In the center line. And it's like it's golden or more. Golden or more. Mm. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, relax, relax. <laughs> okay, relax. Take a deep breath and exhale. Take a deep breath, exhale. Calm your energies, calm. Yes. Totally calm. Oh, man. Okay, you want to try one more time? Okay. Okay, this is the last time you will do because you are a beginner. I don't want to give you that more intense powers. <laughs> so just try to go deeper in the middle, like just like triangle touching like this, you know, like this. Your both eyes okay. coming in the center line of your eyebrows and and visualize golden O. Very good, very good, very good. Perfect. Oh. Oh. oh, in the center line. In the center line of your eyebrow. Relax, relax. So yogis, they do this mudra for activation. Yogis, they, they do one hour, 30 minutes, two hours, continuously, the stillness with their long practice, you know, two, three years of practice. And they feel, they are not seeing with these eyes. I will teach you that very too, you know, our later program. So they never feel this. I they always think this. I'm watching it from my heart, and I will teach you this methods also, you know, uh, higher methods. So now we will start the meditation of home now. I will chant home continuously 108 times, and you have to visualize in the middle center of your eye is golden home. And what is the symbol is like this. Yeah, I know the symbol. No, 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 you don't know. I'm telling you how the symbol of, of this chakra. Like this, who and the half moon door, there is no line like this behind here. Only in the crown chakra. That is that is called full home. This is half of like this home and half moon dot only. So that is called uh, this the sign. This eye chakra, and you have to be light in the middle line only. There is a always flash, always flash with the golden light there. And I will chant that mantra first form, then I will chant the light mantra once eight times and absorb energies inside you to the eye chakra. Okay, mm -hmm. let's start this beautiful activation journey of the eye. Chakra. You have to be still and just not a breath. Focus in the middle line, middle line, in your third.
I'm gonna need the the lyrics for the for the guy a tree mantra because I don't I don't I don't know that. <laughs> okay, so no problem. So you can do all. Yeah. How do you spell it? It's G A. So it's T T what? G G G G A Y A T R I Gayatri G A Y A T R I Gayatri Mantra Right. Uh, yeah. It says, Oh, um, bo, 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 has for her. That's a sat, uh, Savito Vari, Yeah, okay. Right, okay, so, okay, so, so 11 ohms first, okay. I will chat with you the line three one point three. No problem, so you have to do ohm, and we can do by a thing, then one point three, one point, one point, one point, one point, one point, one point, Okay, so 11 times ohm first. Yes. No Oh. 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 
Okay, I think I've got different lyrics. I think I've got different words here, slightly. There's slightly okay. some slight variations. Okay, okay, just listen three times then because you know in, in the in the Vedic mantra, if the word change, everything is changed. So when you say nahi, yeah, can, and, and yeah, mighty, you know, could, could you could, could, could you Okay, could you possibly send me the one that you're chanting then? Because there are so many different variations of these things online. I don't know which one's which. Okay, I will send you. So I will possibly I will, send me the correct one. I will send you after, after the session. Uh, I hope that okay. I yes, please. Thank you. One by one. So because in the back of the month, the word yeah. is possible. Okay? So just listen deeply in the middle line okay. of your chakra. I will check the facts for you. Then you have to do peace on it. Okay? okay. Yeah. Om Guru 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 Guru
on the high strikes. Now focus on the ground. Can't hear you. Now you can hear me. Just about, yeah, it's very low though. Yeah, just about. Now, now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just saying. So now the high chakra session is done. So we'll focus on the crown chakra, the last chakra in the center line of the body, and we can do tomorrow, and then we will do rest, and then we will start from Tuesday. Fine. Okay, can, can we do the same time tomorrow, half nine? Yes, we can do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, and also, could you send me the video? Did you send me the video for yesterday? Yeah, because you, I didn't send the video, so I didn't send the link to you personally. Please, so yes, please. I will send it. Lovely. I'll send that link to you. Thank you. And I will share the Gayatri Mantra for you. And uh, we will do the one session on the Gram Chakra and the other session on the, the Mudra for every chakra with the meditation. Then we will do more uh -huh. sessions on Neo Tantra just like you wanted to experience the, the modern lines. Four sessions on that. Lovely. Thank you. Just going to stop. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Yes, we will. Definitely. Yeah. Take care and enjoy your day. And the cat um, yeah, the cat really likes your chanting. Yes. No, because, because of the vibration. Really you get it, bite me. <laughs> now when, you, when you chant mantra, uh, so when you chant mantra with, with animals, you know, they feel the positive vibe. That's why they feel relaxed and cool. The vibe comes and they can absorb it. Yeah, they love it. Yeah, they loved it. He came and literally sat down right, right in front of me, in between the laptop and me, just kind of like, <laughs> uh, loving it. And enjoying. It okay. must be good. If the, cat, if the cat likes it, it must be good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. So I'll meet you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my God. He's relaxing. He's relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, um, and I will share the last session video, the link with you, and I will edit this and I will upload as soon as possible. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, and enjoy your day. And you. Bye bye.